YouTube, let's get, get, get it. Back with another vid, YouTube. It's your boy, Big Gap. And today, in front of us, we have the Armor Big Rock 6S Crew Cap. But mine will be the 8S Big Rock Crew Cap after I'm done with it. But I know it's been a while. This will be a quick unboxing. I'm not going to get all in the details. Uh, I'm a little bit late to the party. So you guys have seen all the details. So we're going to make this nice and quick. We're going to get it out of the box. Talk about it for a few minutes. And we're going to get out of here. So with no further ado, let's get into the video. First thing first, we have the brand new Hobby Wing 6S. I mean, the Hobby Wing G2 Max 6. 1650 combo that will be going in this car. Uh, we have the Armor 6S backflip tires. Yes, sir. Armor 6S backflips. A lot of people have been complaining about the tire compound, and you know I love backflips. Car ain't right, let it got backflips on it. So get those out of the way. <clears throat> We're gonna bust this box down, get it open, talk about it. Get that 1650 open, get everything suited and booted on here in this same video. We'll show you how it looks at the end, and then we're going to go from there. So first thing first, let's pop this box. Hold tight. This is a 17th scale 6S truck from Arma. Um, this is a newer newer model. Uh, it's a lot like the fire team in the Mojave. Uh, shares a lot of parts with the fire team in the Mojave. Um, so, so first up, we got this little. This is a first. On top of the uh, the bag, it's the little card for you know where you can scan the uh, QR code and get part numbers and all that good stuff. All right. Scissors, might not need them. All right, first up, you have your XLT3, it's SLT3. With this transmitter, I would not be running this car at all with this transmitter. I would be going with the Radio Link uh, RC8X, but this is what it comes with, the XLT3. Not a bit bad remote, but not a real good remote either. Uh, much better than some of the other RTR radios. All right, you have both bags, both wheels in the bag. I will be leaving <laughs> these wheels in this bag. I will not be running them at all. All right, next up, you got your goodies. Got your speed pinion in there, which I probably use that. I probably use the speed pinion. I don't know what gear it is, what size it is. Probably like a 18 or 20 or something. But if it's less than a 20, I'm just probably going to use a 20. But here's your goodies in the bag. You got four AA batteries, which I'm gonna get those to my son so he can play the Xbox. <laughs> Uh, they got give you some shims, and you have your manual, a couple of tools. That's always good. The armor gives you tools with their kits. All righty. Well, last but not least, we got this big boy. I'm just going to go ahead and cut this off. What did I do with my scissors? Here go. I'm just going to go ahead and cut this so I don't have to be fighting with it. See, I went with the gray one. <laughs> I wish the white would have came out already. I would have got it. Uh, but there she goes. Let's get this plastic off. This thing looks excellent. My brother Rattlecan Alexan kind of spoiled it for me. I already saw his 
So I did most of my ooh and the ah, and when I saw his. So there it is, man. This body looks dope. It's matte, matte finish gray. Looks dope, like a gunmetal gray. Undo the body clips, push it forward, it comes off. This body is super heavy, super durable. Um, I'm waiting on, well, I will be ordering me a clear body on tonight. They got them on Tower Hobby. I'll be ordering me a clear clear body tonight, so I'm going to try my best not to beat this one up too bad. But um, I am going to do the first bash with this body. Um, so let's get it out of the way. It is nice and heavy, super heavy, really. All right, and there's your inside. You got your 2050 kV motor. You got your 150 amp speed controller. A lot of people have been having issues with this speed controller. Um, this is the V2. They they just redone that one, but uh, it's not gonna really matter to me anyway because I'm gonna pull it out. I'm not even gonna do a first run with it, so it's coming out immediately. But there it is. You know, Arm always supplies you with the looper. This is a new servo. It is the S665 Metal Gear servo from Spectrum. From the videos I've been seeing that, you know, it does pretty good. A couple of people said they need, you need to tighten, tighten up your, uh, your, uh, some people, some people were saying you need to tighten up your bell crank a little bit, but, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try it out first and see how it turns. But I also have a reefs servo right over here in the drawer. I have a reef servo, so if I don't like it, I will be pulling it and putting that reef servo in there. So that's the truck in a nutshell. Like I said, I'm not going to go all into too many details because everyone has basically seen that truck. So let's pop open this 1650 Hobby Wing G2 combo and we're going to get the building. We'll finish the, finish the video off once I get it built and then uh, hopefully I can run it one day this week. If not, then I'll definitely try to get it out this weekend if the weather is if the weather permits. Uh, we've been having pretty bad weather on the weekends. So, there it is, man. There she blows. It's a uh, new Max 6, baby. G2 just hit the market. It's only a few videos up of this actual combo as of right now. But I know uh, a lot of people are going to get this, man. This thing was only $239, man. Max 6 is 200 amps. And this is the 4990 1650 kV motor. Uh, the old Hobby Wing motor could not do 8S, but this new one, well, it wasn't rated for 8S. Let me say that, because a lot of people did run it on 8S, but this new one is rated for 8S. And that's your Hobby Wing 200 amp, max six. So. Hobby Wing always comes with some goodies in the back. This is your uh, your uh, other wire, so you can do two two uh, ends for your uh, your battery connections. They always give you the double side tape. That's always awesome. A couple of shrink tubes and a couple of zip ties, and you get your manual. Then they give you some stickers. So I'm gonna take this, file it. And here is your ESC. Let's get this trash out of the way. Here's your ESC. It's a much, it's a smaller footprint than the old Max 6, um, but it's still not too, too small. But it's a little bit bigger than a, like a Max 8, the old school Max 8. So that's that. Max 6 ESC. And here's your. And here's your motor. Normally it doesn't come with a lot, just instructions. There it is in there. So we're gonna file this in file 13, which is the trash can. And wow. 
voila, there she goes. It's 1650 motor, 4990. And this has the sensor wire. That's what's awesome about the new G2 Hobby Wing stuff. Has the sensor wire. Hook it straight up to each other. Nice and long so the motor don't have to be close. And uh, there it is. So, like I said, man, it's going to be a quick video. We rolling, we rolling, we rolling, we rolling. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start get these ends soldered on here and get this up and going. And uh, I'll be back with y'all on the next take. Uh, I should have everything in. Um, get my wheels painted up nice and neat and, and, and make them look good for the first for the first run. And we're going to go from there. So if y'all hold tight, I'll be back with y'all in a second. All righty, y'all. She is done. Done, done, done. We got her hooked up to the Radiolink RC8X remote. And we got the system in there, baby. Yes, sir. The body is actually pretty easy. I thought it was going to be a little bit tough to, to, to get it, but it's pretty easy. If you get down low and you come back with it, it'll snap. It'll hook. See, like that. It's really not that hard. I thought it was going to be a little bit tougher, but it's pretty easy. But here she is. Hopefully y'all can see that. I know the camera's a little bit far back. You got your Hobby Wing G2 six, uh, Max 6, and you got your... Um, 1650 kV motor in there. Yes, sir. Got your backflip LP or your backflip 6S on there. Ready to go. It was a pretty easy installation uh, because of the chassis being so big. It was it was a breeze, man. It took me a few minutes, um, and I had everything set and ready to go. So what I do want to do though, I want to go ahead on this video and show the Bluetooth inside of this ESC um, and show how it works. And how you can change the, uh, the settings. Uh, I haven't ran the car yet, but I can tell once I bound when I when I binded it, I could tell that it still kind of was it was kind of late on the punch. So I'm probably gonna take the punch up to a seven. It comes on the five. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hook that up right quick and show y'all how that's done. And we're gonna take it up. I, I wanted to take it out today, but it, it I just got home too late, um, and it's dark out there. So it's pointless for me to take my camera out there and try to record. Um, but I am gonna take it out and just get a quick run up and down the street, um, just to see how it how it actually handles or whatever. And then I'll um, I'm gonna do the the next chance that I get to get out and really run it. I'm gonna get out and really run it. I'm only gonna run it on 6s on the first video. I am gonna do 8s the same day, but I'm just gonna run it on 6s. Um, and then later on, you'll see it running on 8s. I'm really not gonna run it on 8s that much. Um, it's really it's just really gonna be a 6s truck. I like to put the bigger system in there though because I can gear it up higher and it runs they run a lot more efficient. You don't have to worry about as much as many heat issues because the system is really you know it, it's capable of running cars that's bigger than this car. So so all right, we're gonna um, I'm gonna figure this out. I've never done a Bluetooth on there. We're gonna um, try to get it hooked up. Let me get I'm gonna get it up on the stand so I can. Um, so the car won't be then took off. I didn't hit the I be hit the throttle or something by mistake, and then we're gonna go through the uh, Bluetooth and then we're gonna get out of here. So y'all hold tight. All right. So you turn it on. Go into this the button at the top right here in the corner. Uh, you pick up. You pick your uh, with your ESC. It starts connecting and it connects. Uh, I just put the code in the first time. The password is eight all eights. So now you can go into your parameters and that's where all of your stuff should be, like your punch settings and all that stuff. So I'm just waiting on it for it to connect. Um, parameters loading, little spinny thingy. All right, there it is. So now that's, just, that's you get into there and that's, that's pretty cool. Um, you got your lipo cell, you got low voltage cutoff, uh, I'm not bothering with any of that. BEC, I'm not bothering with that. Uh, all right, punch. That's what I want to see. Punch. And they say this ESC, once you select it and you save it, the ESC should restart. So we're going to stroll up to a punch level setting. Hopefully, y'all can see that. Punch level 7. And then we hit OK. Let's see if we hear the ESC shut down. I think they say when you leave the app, it shuts down. So I got my punch up. And then I want to change my initial throttle force. I'm going to take my initial throttle force 
up to two. Take it up to 2% instead of 1%. Okay. All right. So I'm guessing that's it. Hit save. Let me make sure my punch went up. Okay. All right. So I hit save, then it, the ESC should cut off and cut back on. Save parameters. Saving. Save successful. See what it's gonna do. All right, so I almost gotta turn it off and turn it back on myself. I thought I was told that it should shut itself off and come back on. So we're gonna cut it off and we'll cut it back on. And everything should be good. Stop steering. See if we can see if we can slow crawl. Yes, sir. So there it is, man. Uh, I'm gonna take this outside. It's dark out there. I'm gonna go test it out for for you know for a few. Just running up and down the street. I'm not gonna do nothing major. I'm gonna put this controller off, but she's driving me crazy. I need to charge it up. She just keeps saying transmitter battery low. Once again, you slap the body on, see how easy that was. Bam, falls in the back, it's ready to go. So there it is, waiting on this clear body. I can't wait till this clear body come in. I got a special surprise for y'all when the clear body comes in. But until then, y'all will get two running videos. Y'all gonna get a 6S video and then a, a short 8S video. Well, it'll just be one video. So I'll do 6S first, then I'll put two 4S in there and run it on 8S, you know, maybe do a couple of willies or something. So. There it is, man. I appreciate y'all sticking around watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, dislike, whatever you like. YouTube in a minute.